Hey guys, hello and welcome to No Code Mafia, where we talk about anything and everything in the world of no code. In today's episode, we're going to look at different no code tools and how you can use them to make your ideas a reality. Without any further ado, let's get started. So as of recording this video, I've worked with these apps that you see uh, quite closely over the past year. And uh, these are intermediate to advanced no code tools. Uh, and I'll have a separate video coming if you're just getting started with the no code e ecosystem. So starting with Webflow uh, and then going to Bubble as well as Bravo Studio with Airtable. So one thing you're going to realize right off the bat with most no code tools is that they specialize on one thing. And with over a year of using these various tools, I can confidently tell you guys that these are some of the best tools out there. Uh, for the folks that are interested in trying something new, I'll be mentioning a few alternatives as a bonus. So let's take a bird's eye view of how we're going to be ranking these apps. I want to create a, a ranking system that is fair with all apps. This will follow with any future videos I'm going to be doing about no code tools. So let's take seven things into account. One is which platforms you can release on. The second would be the complexity. Third would be the customizability of the platform. Fourth would be the learning curve. Fifth would be the user interface. Sixth would be the feature set. And the seventh would be the pricing. So coming back to the point where I said that uh, all apps focus on one thing in particular. So let's think about a drill, for example. You could use a drill to drill a wall or a dentist could use a drill to clean your cavities. Both of them require different uh, speeds, a different set of precision, a different hole size. So there is not going to be any best no code tool out there. And this video is not going to be really a best all round tool for no code. Whereas it's just going to be a video where I'm going to be sharing a list of tools to add to your toolbox, which you can use to create anything you'd like. So all that aside, let's get started with Webflow the first. Webflow is a tool I've been using since uh, um, early 2020 and it allowed me to create beautiful websites right from the get-go. So it's great for someone who has some prior knowledge in HTML and CSS. Uh, and even if that's not the case, I think it's just a few hours of understanding, you know, the principles of web development and you, you can, you can get right into Webflow. Webflow has a very clean UI and also has shortcuts to make your life easier. Another advantage of Webflow is that websites you make, the websites you can make out of Webflow feel like they've been meticulously coded and they have a wide array of templates that you can choose from. They're available to either purchase or most of them are, are free. Uh, there is also hosting included in the plan. If you get a paid plan, if you want to attach your domain, uh, hosting is included and all you need to do is go to your uh, domain and, you know, add that uh, CNAME record and then you're good to go. Uh, it also has advanced features like uh, SEO, that is search engine optimization, which will help other people find you on Google. And it has an inbuilt content management system. So something like if you would want to create blogs, recipe or a kind of like a recipe book or a recipe blog, if you can say online, uh, you will be able to store many pages with the same template. So all you need to do is upload like the Excel spreadsheet of all the blogs you want to write and it can, it can handle that and create individual pages that will also show up on Google people search. And uh, when it comes to pricing, it's relatively cheap. It's $18. Uh, if you had to pay someone on Fiverr, it would, it would cost the same, but you wouldn't get the level of customizability that you would get when you, you sit and do it yourself. So the base plan is $18 a month, which uh, includes setting up your own domain. If you want to add the CMS system, it's I think $23 right now. Uh, you can also apply for startup credits and get a discount. I will, I will show you, I've made a sort of like a chart of where Webflow stands in our ranking system. So we'll be continuously adding apps to this so that you can see the overall rank and how things are ranked in, in the no code mafia rank list. So as you can see, uh, we can't make really complex. Uh, apps with this, uh, but we can customize a lot about what we make, like look and feel of the website can be completely customized, but making a complex website with uh, advanced logic is not possible currently on Webflow. Uh, going to the second graph, uh, it's quite easy to use. The user interface is clear 
uh, and the learning curve isn't that high as well. So coming to the third, that's value for money. Webflow is in the sweet spot uh, of pricing as well as a feature set because it has a good amount of features for what you're paying for. So I, I, it's, it's a good bang for the buck. So now that we know how it stacks up in the no code mafia ranks, let's talk about the caveat. I think the only caveat would be the learning curve, which would be from a few days to a few weeks. Why that is the case is because you would need to learn how to optimize your website to load faster. To, so that would require a deeper understanding of how Webflow works. So that would be the only caveat. And a few alternatives for uh, Webflow would be um, a free app called graphite.space. I would link all the references in the description below. So graphite.space is a great Webflow competitor. It is not as advanced, it is not as feature rich but you can get you can get a website out to code and it's it's completely free you can even extract the code from it another one would be squarespace and wix so they're great no code i mean you just drag and drop components that you can customize depending on how you would like it so that's it about webflow let's move on to the second one that is bravo studio so Bravo Studio, I came across this app in early 2020 when I was trying to make an app that was very simple. It just had to get information from a database that is like Airtable and put it onto an app like a UI. So how Bravo Studio works is it's perfect for designers. So they have a documentation page where you just have to name your components or frames or you know whatever um, groups exactly like how um, uh, it needs to be. So if you want to create a modal menu or a menu, a bottom menu, it has to be named a certain way. And then when you export it to Bravo, it imports and it's really easy. All you need to do is then just um, import a database and whatever data that you show comes onto uh, the Bravo Studio app and it exports to uh, native code and it works brilliantly. So if you guys want to create a native Android app or a native iOS app, uh, Bravo Studio is an excellent option. It's easier for designers to change the how it looks and also how it feels and works like. So it's really amazing. It's just that there's not much customization in functionality. So there's not much functionality you can add. So let's see how it ranks in our no code mafia ranking. As you can see in the first part, the flexibility side, it's not that complex. Uh, you can't make complex apps with it, but it's very customizable in the look and feel segment because you're exporting directly from Figma. So it's going to be pixel perfect and fit most screens. Ease of use, it is, it is quite apt because uh, the user interface on Bravo Studio is quite simple. Uh, there are not many things you can do with it. So that's why it's going to be easy and it doesn't require a lot of uh, learning. You just need to read a few documents and you're all set to go. Uh, value for money would be somewhere uh, somewhere at the top because uh, they do offer a few exports for free. Um, so you can just test out your app and uh, show it to people, you know, just, just for an MVP, just like uh, something like Framer. You are able to show, you can download the Bravo Vision app and just show it off uh, without um, uh, exporting it through an app. So uh, they offer three exports for free. Uh, coming to the caveats, there's as I said, there's limited functionality and it's not possible to make a web app. Uh, what you would use it for would be uh, some really basic ticketing or restaurant apps or uh, some kind of meditation app where you need a timer or some kind of thing where it has few pages, not too many pages, and you really need to make an app. So alternatives to uh, Bravo Studio would be uh, this app called Thunkable and Teta. So Thunkable is something similar to Bravo Studio but it offers a, a bit more features and Teta is a really new uh, app. I, I think I came across it only a few months ago. I didn't get a lot of time to try it out. I like as as usual I'll link the, all the links in the bottom uh, so you can you guys can check them out. Coming to the last and uh, honestly, my personal favorite because um, we've launched our startup. We've already made a product with it. We've made three products actually. Bubble has been really important for this channel and it's going to be really important for this channel as well as my life. I started using Bubble uh, in the beginning of 2022. So reasons why I love Bubble is because you can make complex workflows. 
you can make websites you can make uh, you can add logic you can play around with apis you can expose your api endpoints and another thing that's really important is both the back end and the front end are together so there's no there, there's no need to authorize from the back end i was also looking at something like zano and bubble zano and appgiver back in the day but because appgiver didn't have a local database or a local back end system i didn't i didn't move forward with it bubble seemed like the best option another thing about bubble is that anything you can think about there is a plugin for it like the a few days ago i wanted to implement uh, you know like a, a shift k or a command k feature where you can just click a few shortcuts you can show the shortcuts and perform them so i was thinking um, how am i going to implement this until i just went to the plugin section and i found a plugin that has option to invoke a, a workflow when a certain button is pressed so bubble gives a lot of customization it is very in depth uh, advanced uh, low code tool and the only caveat i would say is that there is a big learning curve to it once your app does get quite big it becomes a bit clunky the ui becomes a bit clunky and uh, it lacks the keyboard shortcuts that are present just like in webflow so let's see how bubble ranks in our uh, no code mafia ranks so as you can see here the flexibility is is off the charts because you can do complex workflows you can do back end workflows you can set for when a workflow should occur uh, you could time it for doing it at a certain time of day a month you can even you know have um e automatic emails being sent when a certain action is done it has uh, option to uh, do web hooks and it's it's just completely all around just perfect for any application you need to build heck i even saw someone making a uber clone everything from route mapping in a few hours so isn't that pretty cool in in terms of flexibility bubble has the best the best um customizability as well as the complexity of the app that you can create second would be the ease of use it ha it does have a really high learning curve it took me a couple of months to understand all the features that i could use on bubble um and i'm still not there i'm still learning new new things every day and like i mentioned before the ui does get a bit clunky when your app gets big uh coming to the third of it uh value for money um the pricing is quite fair it's 29 dollars if you pay monthly and that will include everything that you would need so when it comes to the value for money it's priced at 29 dollars a month that's the base version you get two versions so you get a development version where you can test on and you also get a live version where you know you are your app is live and um, your users can access it Uh, and the database is totally separate there'll be no mixing in between uh, testing data and live data it's quite a well thought out app for you know to start out your idea so um, that's about it uh, i would conclude by saying that like i said there is no one single tool that's the best it's all different tools that are very required and every single tool that's out there is slightly different and that would be used in a separate use case so i hope you guys learn something and i hope these recommendations would be helpful to you please please feel free to type down in the comments if it helped you and if you have any ideas so for future videos and another thing uh, if you guys have made it to this is this part of the video thank you so much for watching um i am still starting out i currently have 80 subscribers and i'm really proud of each and every one of you guys i hope that you guys stick around with me do comment like share it helps out me as well as the channel um and um, let me know what content you guys would like to come up next thank you no code mafia out <laughs>